All right, everybody, Buckeye and Sky News here. How's everybody doing out there today? Getting ready to walk around the town of Johnstown, Ohio. See their decorations for Memorial Day, about 11 a.m. And uh, we're gonna go walk the square, look at all their decos, and uh, see if, they, if the police will honor and respect the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. So, let's get rolling. Coming up on Main Street. Now this is just a little town. It's even smaller than the last one we did. We did uh, Pataskala, Ohio last week. Uh, I'm sorry, two weeks ago rather. Here we go. Main Street. The East Leg. Actually, when you look at this map, when you look at this town on a map, no, no road runs north, south, east, or west. It's all, the guy that designed it made it an X, so everything goes northwest and southwest, so that's kind of east, I guess. That's a little northeast. Here's their Presbyterian church. And there's Ohio Guardian. That's my boy. He's over there checking out the sights. I'm gonna follow him now. And there's a shot down the main drag. The square's over there by those trees. All right, safe to cross. of operation in case anybody's looking to buy some antiques in Johnstown Ohio here's a nice place to do so realtor little pub across the street chiropractor's office that's dr. Schoen Awful nice gentleman.
nice little town. I've always liked this town too. This is uh, this is about 15, maybe 20 minutes north of the last town we did in Pataskala, Ohio. Another one of the little hometown areas that I grew up in. Shop 740, that's uh, the area code up here is 740. Businesses with uh, apartments above. And on my left now is the square, once I get down to the corner I'll flip back around and show you the square. Yeah. B and T insurance advisors. Your insurance needs in Johnstown, Ohio. Got Circle K, Shell, and like I promised, the square. Here's one of their memorials here. Um, this is the foundation, one of the founders. And this is. Johnstown's version of Big Ben. As you can see, it is about 10 after 11 in the AM Memorial Day. Lovely gazebo for public gathering in case anybody wanted to redress their government. They would be able to come here and speak freely to the populace. It's awful nice of them to provide you with a little bit of cover. Because everybody knows you got to repeat everything 15 or 20 times to them before it sinks through their heads. So a little shade over top of you or something to keep the rain off of you while you're doing that. It's nice. So that's why I said nice of them to do that. There's the, uh, what I believe used to be the old courthouse. They've since moved it. Um, you know, it's been so long since I've been up here. I'm not even sure where they moved it to. I know they built a new municipal, or they took over an older building, another building on the edge of town where it's the police station. And I think Mayor's Court is there as well. Here's the uh, war memorials. Again, flags hanging at half mast. Again, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, flags are only supposed to be flown at half mast. If the president says so, if the president dies, or if a first lady dies. And I believe, like I said, if the president says it's okay to do it for, say, a member of Congress or. Um, you know something in that in that manner that uh, that it's allowed to be flown at half mast, but I don't believe a school shooting or whatever qualifies. We'll go up here and get the memorial.
artillery. Looks like about a four inch barrel, a four inch gun. These things have been sitting here ever since I can remember. Got a pair of them sitting here protecting the courthouse. Walk up here and take a peek at the architecture. See if there's any etchings or signs or anything. Memorials. It is the Johnstown Historical Society. Closed. Anyway, looks like they've got some neat stuff in there. bell that used to hang in the tower I believe when they rebuilt it they replaced the old bell and decided to place it out here for the kids to play around and look at yeah Across the street there, we've got the Park National Banksters. I mean, Park National Bank. Over there's the old elementary school. And over there, there she is. They just got the okay last year to tear that one down for a new school, which they've already got built. Now they're working on tearing this one down. Now this road here heads out of town just down about a quarter of a mile is the, the uh, post office. It's awful hot today, so I'm not going to walk all the way down there, and they're closed anyway, so I can't check to see if they have their poster 7 hanging. And, uh, yeah, nice sidewalks. Little coffee shop over there, if you want coffee. Johnstown's version of Starbucks, I guess. It's right there, if you can see the sign. It's called Hot Spot. So hot spot coffee in Johnstown. Uh, we got Villa Pizza, a very good pizza. Right down there, about a block and a half from the square. Oops, wrong zoom. Ohio Guardian. We got here's the rear entrance to the Johnstown FD, their fire department. These guys have always been really cool. See them out here all the time cooking and they're barbecuing and everything, talking to the public. Really good bunch of guys up here. Got a couple of squads, a couple of the big rescues. They're uh, they're a pretty decent sized fire department. Right behind, there's the, the square. Actually, this is on the back side of the square, right behind the old, uh, the old courthouse slash uh, what is now the, the museum. Oh, 
Oh look, my very first cam back. Let's go up there and see what they had to say. They obviously know the First Amendment because they're filming in public, so. This would be the looking at the east side of the historical museum. Coming up there. Now, see, they rebuilt that. I think, I think what happened was it got hit by lightning years and years ago. And that's when they decided to put that cat, uh, that uh, widow's walk up there instead of uh, the bell, which is why the bell is now in the, in the yard. Good. Huh? Just uh, filming some stuff around Johnstown. Doing a doing a blog now. You guys have a good one. Yeah, I used to uh, drive a school bus for this town. And uh, that was one of the kids I used to haul around. He walks up, he's like, he used my real name, which I won't repeat again. Uh, yeah, one of the kids I used to haul. He's like, hey, Mr. <laughs> it's like, hey, how you doing? I didn't remember his name, man. I had 50 kids, man. I couldn't remember them all. Right. I couldn't remember them then. I can't remember them now. It's been a year ago. Leave it to a kid to blow your cover, though. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, That's all right. A little drive through for what is this? This used to be the bank. Closed down. They must have, the bank here must have already taken all the money from Johnstown. Enjoying the shade? <laughs> What's that? Uh, I live near Johnstown. Well, we want to ask you. Sure. They always have a parade on. Memorial on the memorial. You know, I don't know if they're actually holding one today or not. That's what we saw the um, That's actually why I was here. I was hoping to catch some sort of a a square barbecue or you know, this is the historical monuments and stuff. I figured they'd have it right here if anywhere. <laughs> now there is Belt Park right over here on. Um, it's Mink Street, but I forget what they call it on this stretch up here. I, uh, I can't remember. But it's, it's County Road 41, the dead ends up here. If you go down here, I think it's the first light as you're going out. Turn that way, and Belt Park's right down that way by the back side of the school. They might be having some. I'm going to walk down there in a few minutes. So. Okay, about down this way. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know that's that. But, but you know what I've noticed? There's no barricades or anything set on the side so they can stop traffic for when the parade comes through. So I don't, I don't think there will be a parade today. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I think I'm going to head down that way towards the police station and see if there's anything happening there. And if not, nothing's happening there, I'll probably head down towards Belt Park. Yes, ma'am. You have a wonderful day and enjoy your memorial weekend. Hey, Guardian, I'm going to cross the street and get this side now. I'm going to cross and film back over. Cause there's shade on this side. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, there's the there's the bank that closed down. I guess they uh, they extorted all the money from this count community as they could, and then moved on. Kind of like the marauders of old, the highwaymen. Have you seen any of the, the decorated deers around yet? I haven't been able to spot one. I was talking about it there's, on my video. I know for a fact there's one if you go and hit dead end and or hit the intersection and make a right. The butcher still has his out, and he's got the deer all marked out and all the different cuts of meat and stuff. That's pretty so he's got the loin and the haunch and all this stuff, and they're all marked out. Okay, we're heading back out the way we came in just a minute ago. Came in, did a tour of the, the downtown Johnstown Square. Hopefully it was informative. And that is the historical museum there. So this guy can do hair cutting, bleeding, bone setting, and dentistry. That's what that red flat, red, white, and blue pole means. In the olden days, in the old west days, if you had a barber shop that had just a white sign, I believe. Oh, wait a minute, it was blue was for hair and beard and stuff like that. And uh if it had the red and white stripe, that meant he could do, or sorry, the blue and white stripe, that meant that he could do um, uh, uh, dental and hair cutting. And if it had the red stripe added, that meant he was kind of a doctor. He could do bone setting and, you know, stitch you up or give you salves or whatever. <coughs> antique shop got some nice stuff in there sign says open hi hey. hey do you mind if I go in and take a look around do you work here okay thank you got a lot of nice stuff in here lots of antiques if anybody's in Johnstown looking at this and they're in need of antiques, this looks like the place to be. A little bit of everything. Country stuff. Antique stuff. A little bit of new stuff. A little kitty corner. How's your day going? I am doing wonderful. It's just a little warm out there. Um, the lady outside said it was okay for me to walk through real quick. Sure. I'm doing a, uh, a sto uh, stories for public interest, oh. and today we're covering Johnstown since it's Memorial Day. We went and oh, walked excellent. around, walked around the square, and we'll sure was looking at all the memorial we'll stuff. Cool. Do you do you want to be on? It'll be going on the internet just to let you know. Um, uh, did it cost money? No, 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 no. No, sure. That's no. Fine. You, can, you can. Here's the. Are you the proprietor? Uh, one of them. One of them. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. These are the kind of people we have in Johnstown, Ohio. I grew up about 15 minutes south of here in Pataskala. And uh, this is our our neighbor to the north. This is one of the antique shops. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. And uh, the gentleman was nice enough to say hi. So if you're ever in the big town of Johnstown, Ohio, and find yourself in need of antiques or crafts looks like they've got a ton of stuff in here yeah everything Ohio go bucks sorry I bleed scarlet and gray thank you so much Thanks for coming in. Uh, you can check my uh, YouTube channel it's Buckeye in the Sky News that's it. Like it and subscribe it, and uh, it. people across America will be looking at it. And if they're ever in Johnstown, hopefully they'll come in and buy something. Thank you very much. There you go. Free advertising.
and there's their phone number hours of operation address is 72 I believe this is Main. yes Main Street Johnstown Ohio right off the square okay back to the Presbyterian Church I'm gonna pause my video for a minute because we're gonna go on a nice little walk down to the police station now Buckeye and this guy news signing off